I'm Rich DeMuro with CNET TV here today on another edition of Insider Secrets to tell you all about crapware. This is the bloat that fills up your brand new PC and my good friend Dan Ackerman is here today to tell us about it, what it is, and most importantly, how to get rid of it. First things first, let's get a great definition of crapware from Dan. What is it? Well, when you buy a new computer, you spend $1,000, $2,000 on it, you turn it on for the first time, and you see all these icons on your desktop. It's all things they want you to buy. Antivirus software, extended service plans. You don't need this stuff. They're just trying to sell you things. Just go through some of the various places we're seeing you know, crapware on this PC right now. There's about nine or 10 icons right here on the desktop when you start it up. You can, uh, you can sign up for AOL, you can watch AOL video, you can buy an extended service plan from Sony. And even this fancy background is really what, an ad masquerading as a background or what? Well, it turns out that Spider-Man, of course, is a Sony picture and this is a Sony laptop. So of there course you your laptop comes preloaded with a big Spider-Man 3 background. And there's even a link right here that says, watch Spider-Man. It comes with Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2 preloaded on the computer itself. But even though these files are already on your hard drive, Taking you've up gotta, space. Right, you've gotta pay to unlock them. They're actually, there you go, $9.99 to watch one of these movies. So $10 to watch something that's already sitting on your PC. They're taking up about three gigs of hard drive space. Okay, and I also saw a couple links at the bottom here. Those, uh, it says Sony Entertainment, or Vio Entertainment Center. That I sounds like, like entertainment, fun. yeah. Let's find out what it is. Oh, there's a Just Game more. Tap, there's a, the Spider-Man movies, there's Napster, there's uh, some old arcade games, there's Wheel of Fortune, there's Qbert. Qbert, we all love Qbert for Qbert. 1995. 60 okay. minute free trial though. So a lot of times these are just really gateways to getting you to pay to unlock a bigger program. Some That's right. They're either preloaded on the hard drive or they direct you to download them right there. Let's find out how to get rid of some of the crapware on our brand new PC. Where do we want to go first? First thing I do is take a look at my system tray. This will show you a lot of the stuff that's active on the computer right now. I see Napster right here. I don't particularly need Napster running automatically, so I can just right click on that and quit Napster if I felt like it. The second place I'd go is right here in the Windows Start menu. Uh, go to the Programs folder and go to the Startup folder, and that will show you some of the programs that are going to start up automatically. Right here we've got some Adobe Acrobat stuff. That's okay, we're going to leave that alone for now. Okay, if so you, if you find a program in there like QuickBooks Startup, you want to right. maybe take that out if you don't use QuickBooks. If you want to go a level deeper, you go right into the uh, Run menu here and you type in MS Config. That pops up a window, you go right over to the Startup tab, and this will show you all the different programs and services that are starting up when your computer starts up. Most of these you want to leave alone, but if you see something that you don't like or you don't need, like uh, here, go QuickBooks or, or Corel Photo, you just unclick it, you hit OK, and next time you start up your computer, those programs will not start, which means your machine will start up faster and, and hopefully run a little better. Okay, let's check out the programs and features. You might be tempted to just take all these little icons here and just delete them, but that just gets rid of the icons. The programs are still there. To actually get rid of stuff, you go into your control panel, you go down to programs and features, and this shows you all the programs installed on your machine, and you can pick one that you don't want. You see the QuickBooks Simple Start Free Starter Edition. That doesn't sound like it's gonna be very full feature to me. It doesn't yeah. sound like it's gonna be very useful. I can just click that, go up here, hit uninstall, and that will uninstall that for me. And uh, let's finally, let's get rid of Spidey on the desktop. Get rid of Spider-Man, there we go. A nice, uh, calm, relaxing Sony blue. It still says Vio, but that's okay. We bought a Vio, we like Vio. Okay. At least it's not an ad. And real quick, let's get rid of the gnome. Oh, that's Travelocity, right. um, you know, it's not like if you get rid of this guy, you're never gonna travel again. You can just go to the, you know, the travel website of your choice. So how do we get rid of it? Right, go over the Windows sidebar. If you just mouse over one of these widgets that they call them, this little X right here, hit the X and it's goodbye, Mr. Gnome. Does every company do this? HP's and Dell's and all these other systems do come with a certain number of icons on them. Uh, some companies like Dell actually give you a clean option so that if you order certain systems, you can get them without all these icons on it. And you don't really have to be afraid of ordering it clean because pretty much anything that they're putting on there, you can download yourself, you can buy yourself. You're not gonna be uh, you know, scrambling for a starter edition of QuickBooks you know, six months into your clean PC, right? Yeah, choose your own software. Okay. Excellent advice, Dan. So now we have seen how to get our new PC you know, kind of customized to what we want and also take up less memory, less space on the hard drive, and just have a computing experience that uh, you've kind of controlled rather than having Sony control it for you. Exactly. All right, Dan Ackerman, thanks so much. I'm Rich DeMiro with CNET TV. This has been another Insider Secret. Take care.